Hey guys, today we will be looking at one of Canada's most premier fight stick purveyors, Mavericade, and their latest offering, the Keeb Brawler. They have a whole line of Keeb controllers, with most around 8 inches in length and featuring keyboard style buttons. This new Keeb Brawler, however, leans into more traditionally shaped fight stick buttons and also clocks in at a more substantial size. It arrived with my artwork print ready to go and a protective film covering the plexi, but I wanted to crack it open to get a peek inside before we officially started playing on it. It comes apart easily with Allen wrenches. Right now, white is the standard and ongoing color option, but there may be limited run color selections offered down the road. Sandwiched between these white aluminum panels, you see the 3D printed skeleton all done in-house at the Mavericade shop. This unit utilizes GP2040CE, so that means that it is compatible with the following systems. This pre-release version shipped to me with firmware version 0.63, but I updated it to the 0.70 version so I could enable PS4 play. Check out this other video to see more about the OpenStick project and their work. This firmware is compliant with current CPT rules regarding the simultaneous opposite cardinal direction cleaning, but you still have options because GP2040CE has a built-in combo system button press to change between SOCDs. All the button caps are 3D printed and come in a variety of colors. Mavericade mixed and matched a set for this Primal Rage build. There are eight different button color options, black, white, gray, light blue, blue, red, yellow, and marble but Mavericade has plans for more color options available soon. Here are what they sound like minus the music. This pre-release version came with a nice little bottom layer of foam padding, and the older I get, the more I appreciate these little additions. You can also get these key brawlers with or without some artwork. And if you choose the latter, you'll find that the art installs very easily. For this theme, I worked with Creeps and Babes for a Primal Rage inspired piece. Will from Mavericade is an old Armadon main, but I had to go with Vertigo because she was clearly the coolest character from that series. The size and weight of this unit probably most compares to something like a Snackbox Micro XL, but the button orientation gives it all its own feel. More on that in a minute. The key brawler measures around 12.5 inches by 6.5 inches and clocks in just shy of a pound and a half. Here's a quick visual comparison with other common all button controller types. An ergonomic design was at the forefront of the key brawler build philosophy. Instead of the usual layout, you'll notice that the action buttons have a slight sweep to them. This orientation is a modified hitbox layout with a 10 degree rotation using the middle finger as the pivot point. The goal of this layout was to keep the wrists straighter to put less strain on them. Mavericade also wanted to promote better posture so you'll see that the buttons are spaced out so your shoulders don't have to hunch as much. To compensate for this, a larger up button was needed. Now, a player can use the jump function with either thumb without having to worry about any tournament rules regarding the same inputs being placed on multiple buttons. Also, these key brawlers use a USB-C output, but one thing of note is that these units do not come with a cable. The cords are relatively cheap, and I have more than enough fight stick parts on hand, but for someone who is ordering one of these from the Mavericade website, make sure you pick up a cable elsewhere so that you can play this on day one. Included is also this white cable tie. You can wrap your USB cable to either one of these top two slot cutouts or use it to tie down the USB cable while you're playing if it's a right angled USB cable. The key brawlers utilize hot swappable kale and chalk V1 switches. 
Mavericade currently offers them in either blue or red switch variants, and they said that the red switches outsell the blue versions at a rate of about 4 to 1. But because these are hot swappable, you can easily change them to whatever you'd like to suit your tastes. It plays on a variety of systems like I mentioned, but for this review I grabbed all the footage from my PC. The overall size felt good in my lap, and it played like a well-fashioned all-button controller. It was ergonomic, and I didn't fatigue at all while playing on it. The combos felt crisp and I had no complaints. It functioned as promised and looked good doing it. I did like the added functionality of the larger jump button, and the foam padding was also a very nice touch. These key brawlers actually release the day this video drops, so if you're interested in grabbing one, head to the Mavericade website. Everything is made to order for the client, and Mavericade can typically turn out a unit in less than 5 business days. If you found this video helpful, a like and a comment would go a long way toward helping this channel grow. Thanks for watching, support your locals, and I'll see you next time.